Welcome everybody, I'm Grandmaster Christian Sabo and in my following course I will talk about the Fortnite system against uh, the E4, E5. Let me show you immediately how is it uh, going on. So E4, E5, Knight F3, Generally, knight c6, knight c3, this will be the basic way, and knight f6, and if he plays kind of different way, but with white, play, start to, uh, with this play. Uh, the advantage of this opening is that if the opponent is playing with uh, Petrov, with knight f6, we can also play knight c3 after that, and we avoid the knight takes e5 uh, lines, we can simplify the life with this if we have this kind of repertoire. But of course, as everywhere here, also black has several other moves also. For example, let's see how about the bishop c5. Knight takes e5, we take the pawn, and knight c6. And with this we are transposing to the Stafford Gambit. Stafford Gambit is generally going with this way. And knight c3, bishop c5, we reach this position after, uh, after this variation. So knight e5, knight c6. What is the point of the Stafford Gambit? Because generally it is a pawn sacrifice and uh, also his pawn is uh, far from the center so white is much better in the center however uh, black is more developed and he has some quick attack if uh, white is not so careful so i will show also some ways when uh, white doesn't play well and black has uh, a quick attack here the most accurate continuation with white is h3. Because what is black's immediate threat? Knight g4. And take pressure on the f2 pawn. Because uh, white is not developed yet. Uh, so quickly he attacks there and no castle yet. So what can he do against it? Because d4 is not working, this is uh, controlling, this was the point of the old d takes c6 plan. And what else? If, for example, we would play kind of uh, bishop c4 development, of course this is, uh, this is not good because white ha black has several ways here. First of all, bishop takes f2, king f2, queen d4 check. This is also a nice option and win the bishop. So this, this is that which, which immediately exclude that uh, that we, this we, we, we would like to play. And another important is that, which is still a typical motif, uh, let's say bishop c4, but just generally, knight g4, and if castle, then queen h4, and suddenly white has a, uh, white is in trouble, black has a decisive attack, because the f2 is also hanging, yes, by three pieces, and the h2 also, so actually it's a very unpleasant double attack, black is, is winning here. So that is very important which we can uh, see from here, the g4 square we should uh, control as much as possible. What is the most logical first continuation? The bishop e2. Bishop e2 seems to be okay because uh, controlling knight g4 and then castle. But this has also a problem, now I'm talking about a very serious uh, play when uh, generally white is fighting for the advantage because after this black has an immediate equalizing move with queen d4 and this is also a double attack attack the f2 and attack the e4 so for example castle Knight takes e4, bishop f3, for example. Yeah, because if knight takes e4, queen e4, rook e1 is also nothing because just in time he can finish the development with castle. 
or even Vietek with uh, bishop f3, the queen can go somewhere, for example, h4 or g6, d4, all of them are okay, and if rook e1 check, then simply bishop e6 and, and black uh, finish the development and he doesn't have any problem at all. So, the point is that he could simply take the pawn, bishop f3, knight takes c3, b takes c3, queen f6, d4, bishop d6, kind of almost symmetrical, but, but uh, really equalizing position. Black doesn't have any problem at all. Okay, so what is the, the rest move? The rest continuation which we can do in this case if uh, bishop e2 is also not helping against the knight g4 against the knight g4 is helping but in, in general in not the most accurate h3 but some preparation is already requiring for this so if we don't know this move is, in, is good we can be scary about it because black is more developed he would like to play for uh, using the development. Moreover, we also don't play a developing move, we play a pawn move to prevent uh, 9g4. But of course, the chess, chess is uh, complex, so sometimes we need this kind of moves also. And okay, let's see. Black has uh, also several continuations here. Let's say h5. This is the most uh, dynamic and ambitious continuation because, for example, if he would play the castle, then he won't have so many mm, chances. We play d3, also doesn't play a developing move, but for d3 we can say it's kind of developing move because open the c1 bishop's diagonal. So generally this is, uh, this is okay. Rook e8 and bishop e2. Now it's already time to develop. Moreover, uh, avoid the X-ray on the E-file. And uh, okay, let's see, for example, B5. Yeah, it was a game uh, for this, because for example, if Queen D6 instead, which uh, one of general plan in the Stafford Gambit, then it immediately starts uh, interesting ways. For example, what happening if white would continue the straightforward short castle? This seems to be okay, but uh, this is a bad move. Because white allows black's excellent play with bishop takes h3. g takes h3, and what was the point of this? The point is that this bishop is spinning this f2 pawn as well, so queen g3 check is a really good move here. And it's not enough just he has uh, perpetual checks, he can even play for win also with bishop d6, f4 for example, to prevent the checkmate on h2. Bishop c5 check, d4, and after rook a d8, suddenly black is winning. Because what can we do with the d4 pawn? Bishop e3 is not working because the queen can take it. He can't prevent the taking on d4. He can't, can't protect that. So g takes h3 is not working here, but if we don't play g takes h3, we, has, we have to play kind of bishop f3, which is still okay and playable, but uh, just give up an h3 pawn is not a logical way here. So after queen d6, we always have to be careful. And we can play, for example, bishop f3 immediately to prepare for short castle. And then the bishop can already go back to g2 after the sacrificing. So let's say blacks play kind of, uh, for example, a5, castle. And now bishop h3 is not a point already, because g takes, queen g3 check, and bishop g2. And uh, the white king is safe, so the sacrifice was not correct. 
So for example, if he play, let's say, a random move also a4, okay, it's not an illogic move because he would like to gain some space on the queen side, but simply knight e2, bishop b6 because d4 was a threat already. This is the big problem of the black's position. He doesn't have a pawn on e5, and uh, that's why white center is much, much more stronger. Bishop b6 and bishop f4 and and uh, white is, let's say it's winning already objectively because pawn up and very strong center. So black is completely hopeless here. Okay, all right, let's go back. This was the queen d6. And let's see how about uh, b5. b5 is just a normal move. However, it doesn't have any special plan. So white is playing a3 to a little bit prevent the b4, a5, short castle, so now it's time to play castle, no any queen g3 uh, threats, rook b8, king h2, go out of the pin, and uh, in a good moment we are ready to come with the f4, b4, a takes b4, a takes b4, knight for example goes back to b1, maybe h6, knight d2, and again we can say that white's position is winning, because uh, he is simply in, in trouble. Maybe we will come with f4, knight f3. Probably this is the most precise, but the immediate knight f3 is also okay, and then come with this moves. Okay, so uh, let's go back a little bit here, we covered the short castle, Let's see how about the pawn h5. Now we can also do the same way d3. Bishop e2 has the same problem with queen d4. Yeah, but let me show you that I mentioned if bishop e2 then queen d4 double attack. So after h3, queen d4 is nothing now because I can play simply queen f3 and I could protect both. My bishop from e2 is not blocking my queen. Okay, so this is the point of uh, this play. So h5, d3. So h3, d3. First we play uh, these moves. And okay, bishop e6, let's play a general developing move. How about bishop d4 instead? Because it was uh, also an interesting game about it. Because now the development is not, not so clear, so if white can, he should play for uh, castle queen side in this variation, because on the king side can be a bit risky, as there is no knight on f3. We could already see the previous position also, this queen d3, bishop h3 threats are a bit dangerous, so we should, uh, we should prevent this kind of uh, way. So probably the most precise continuation is queen e2 here. It doesn't matter we block the f1 bishop, because we will come out with bishop d2, bishop e3, long castle, and we can come with the bishop with the g3, bishop g2 also, or the queen will go somewhere and then the bishop is coming out, but still on f1 the bishop is also fine. So no need to worry about this at all. Bishop e6, bishop e3, h4, and okay, in the game it was also a very logical play, he come out with the bishop first to e3, and then go with the queen to d2, okay, lost the tempo, but the tempo is not really important, not a big deal here, because... Uh, Materially we are better, so if with this move we can finish the development properly and uh, put a safe position, then it's, we can say that this is fine. a5, for example, bishop e2, a4. This a5, a4 is a typical plan, he would like to gain some space on the queen side and a bit weaken our position after a3. So then we play a3, 
queen d6. Queen d6 is, is usually the queen is going to that square, so it's uh, it's a completely normal way. And uh, here I uh, analyzed an improvement until this we we saw a ranch uh, Eric Rosen um, chess.com game. Okay, it was blitz, and uh, but until this they played very well enough. F4 would be important, and white position also should be winning. The center is very strong, pawn structure is very very flexible, and no any danger now. King is still in the middle, so we are waiting for that. Probably already we will castle king side, so this side we will, we will do, because probably after long castle he can have uh, some kind of attack with b5 b5 b4 and uh, there is some target again that against uh, our king and we don't want to give any target for the opponent so after f4 uh, because still if castle maybe he can have something yet here not clear what but maybe something why hurry with that f4 and then we close the the queen's diagonal also here Probably now it will be fine completely. Okay, excellent. So this was the bishop d4. Let's see bishop e6. Also, what is the point of the bishop e6? If I just would play a general play with uh, bishop e2, queen d6, queen d4 is already nothing because the pawn is protected, so I have bishop e3 for tempo, queen d6, and this is very smart, if white is uh, careless and he continue with a very natural developing move, then black has a brilliant attack here by uh, knight g4, h takes g4, h takes g4, What a nice piece sacrifice, open the h file, threatening to mate on h2, because if he wouldn't take that, it's also threat, and there is no g3, because queen takes it, also the pin, and this motif will be coming here also, takes takes, threatening with checkmate, g3, and queen takes g3, beautiful checkmate, thanks for this. So. This is Black's dream to play like this. This is the idea behind h5 and queen d6 to reach this excellent knight g4 in a great moment when white uh, castled on the king side too quickly. But okay, we can play bishop g5, so if we are careful about this and just play a normal developing move, uh, white should be also good here, knight h7. Bishop d2, maybe come back here, long castle, and at least we can play even this, this greedy bishop h5 also. It's not only because of the pawn, but also opens the queen's uh, diagonal, frees the queen's way also a bit out. So this was also a completely acceptable way for white. But I prefer g3. I think g3 is the easiest way if I just uh, would like to developing with bishop g2. Now queen d6 doesn't make any sense because bishop f4 is coming tempo, if it not immediately later is also possible. So it doesn't have any, any special point for him. And uh, in this case what else? If h4, so he would like to create some weakness in our position, then we have g4, queen d6, bishop g2, long castle, queen e2, so similar development, the fianchetto, but of course we don't hurry with the short castle because maybe that involves some kind of attack, but this queen e2 is, is uh, okay, and, uh, and then bishop d2, or bishop e3 and, and long castle we can. That's why I prefer uh, bishop d2 more 
and then long castle because this bishop is protecting the knight so even after like compared to bishop e3 bishop b4 there is no any threatening to take the knight and wrong the king's position because from d2 we protect as well that also so here we can also say that white is minimum better but objectively this is already a winning position because black doesn't have enough compensation for the material okay so this was a very important uh, uh, way here for the stafford gambit and uh, let's see immediately the next one which is similar starting with the petrov knight c3 and instead of bishop c5 the bishop b4 yeah bishop b4 is also completely uh, playable variation but it will be a bit uh, worse also knight x e5 usually if he plays this kind of move we can capture the pawn otherwise no any point and queen e7 how about if he would uh, like to win back the the material immediately uh, castle by the way the main line so this is the most uh, most popular but uh, okay let's see queen e7 that we will see in the next one 93 so we should go back with the knight and the bishop takes c3 so actually to win back the pawn he should uh, he should take this otherwise uh, he can have some problems so for example knight takes e4 is not working because knight d5 and black doesn't have a nice knight jump discover check because we can take the queen so there is no any any good way for him uh, to to go anywhere with the knight that's why uh, that's why this is, this move is not working bishop takes c3 d takes c3 and okay he get back but we grab the bishop pair which is already little advantage for uh, for white queen takes e4 yeah if knight takes e4 now we can already very easily prevent the the discover check by bishop e2 short castle yeah because instead of short castle if d5 this is also a completely normal move then we play castle maybe c6 to protect the the center as well knight f4 knight f4 is a typical move because on d3 the knight is not really good uh, restrict the bishop also the queen also so not not so good bishop f5 moreover we can play for c4 and we exchange our double pawns d takes and rook e1 rook e1 is a very smart continuation probably this is the most precise in the current position because we try to use out that he is in an x-ray on the e-file castle bishop takes c4 knight d7 and after queen e2 we can say that it's also minimum slightly better thanks for the two bishops in an open position that's usually a nice advantage or if instead of c6 he just play castle knight f4 c6 very similar just castle instead of the bishop f5 but we also play for the c4 d takes bishop takes bishop f5 so it's almost the same queen e2 rook e8 rook e1 very very similar queen d7 bishop e3 just continue the analysis a bit b5 bishop b3 knight a6 rook a d1 queen c7 queen h5 and white is also minimum better but probably now it's already already a better position objectively also or if he would play this kind of castle castle d6 knight f4 
Knight f6, rook e1. That's why he went back with knight f6, because he wanted to, to, to protect the d5 square against the knight d5, otherwise it wouldn't be a so logical move. Rook e1, rook e8, c4, bishop f5. And after bishop d2, I don't say this is the only move, so bishop e3 was also an option. White is also slightly better. Still we have the double pawns on the c file, but it's no problem at all, black can't create a passed pawn there, and maybe in the long term we can play for c5 in a good moment. Okay, let's see still how about the queen takes e4, then queen e2, queen takes e2. If castle it's very similar, queen e4, knight e4, f3, chase away his knight from the center, then king f2 and white is minimum slightly better. So queen takes e2, bishop e2, castle, bishop g5, knight e4, Bishop f4, normal developing moves, he just come to the center by tempo, but it's no problem because we will attack it with f3 very easily, and we reach the similar comfortable position uh, with the bishop pair.